a lot of you that have been following any of my content, um, you've heard me talk about these mentors that came into my life uh, three and a half years ago. Okay, Joseph was not away. one of them, um, <laughs> but we're glad to have him here anyways, because he knows them, he knows them. So it's like- I know, I know <laughs> some of them. <laughs> Ryan McMorris asked, how can you stretch your vision when you think it's already clear? So you can have a clear vision that still needs to be stretched from time to time. And I think the best way for you to, to go out and do that is by uh, surrounding yourself with people that are doing bigger, greater, larger, more things. That's ultimately the key to this whole thing. And it's not just sales, it's every other aspect of business, every other aspect of life. You have to be willing to constantly push yourself to do better, constantly push yourself to do more. And, and that's, at the end of the day, is, is how you will uh, succeed. Well, you said, a man's character is determined very quickly by the way they act or react when they see other people accomplishing success. Uh, every now and then it's good to go, you know, visit a big city like New York and hang around some people that are doing incredible things and and you have that feeling of of maybe a big fish, small pond, small fish, big pond, right? Like to just expand your mind to what's possible. I have just realized where I wanted to go in life and what my purpose was and surround myself with people like that are similar mm -hmm. and wanting to go and do something special too. Um, you know, a lot of times people in my position, they talk about, they pulled themselves up by their bootstrap and I'm never gonna feed people that shit. Mm -hmm. I'm not a self-made man. Uh, I look around and everything, most, almost every decision I make, I've learned how to make that through mentors in my life. To put yourself in the same room, put yourself uh, you know, across the table from someone that's doing stuff on a whole nother level. Uh, is how I look to stretch my vision. Because uh, some things five years ago that I thought were, were huge and that I thought was massive success, uh, now don't seem so great. Now don't seem so huge. Now don't seem so unattainable. Uh, and that's the goal, uh, is for things that seem crazy to all of a sudden become um, reasonable. And that's what you know, you've talked about often, we talk about with our organization, is we set these huge, <clears throat> gigantic goals with the intention of people to be able to look back and say, well, God's hand was obviously in this because there's no way they could have done this on their own. But we're going to do everything in our possi possible you know, abilities to get as far as we can go. Mm -hmm. So it's not saying, hey, God's hand's going to be in this. And so we just kind of take it, take a mm -hmm. you know, back seat and, and, and let God take over. No, it's like God's hand is going to be in this. So we're going to take it absolutely as far as our human capability and see what happens after that.